United States of America in New York State, in the Adirondack Park, in Hamilton County, in the town of Lake Pleasant, in the village of Speculator, hidden away, secluded in the forest at the end of a rustic trail, is the Pex Family Cemetery. This area is known by some local residents as Pex Clearing. In the cemetery are three gravestones with a simple stone wall surrounding them. The gravestones belong to Lieutenant Colonel Loring Peck, his wife Jane Burke Peck, and their son Loring Peck Jr. There is no gravestone for a Sela Satterley, who is also buried there. But it is believed that two stones within the gravesite mark the head and foot of where he is buried. To find this hidden treasure in a local Adirondack forest, you must begin following South Shore Road. South Shore Road follows the southern side of the lake, Lake Pleasant. You can find South Shore Road off of Route 30 and then Downey Road in Speculator or off of Route 8 in front of the county buildings in the town of Lake Pleasant. As you follow South Shore Road, you will eventually reach a very sharp turn. The sharp turn is up the hill west of Cherry Brook Crossing and Fairhurst Lakeside Cottages. On one side of this sharp turn is a beautiful log cabin with a rustic garage. Across the road are two landmarks. One is an old brown sign. The sign says, Gravesite of Colonel Peck Revolutionary War. 1743 through 1833. Near the brown sign is an historical marker titled Peck's Farm. It is not encouraged to park on the side of the road in front of these landmarks. It can be dangerous with cars suddenly appearing around the sharp turn in both directions. Just a few yards west of these landmarks is a hidden rustic road. There is a clearing within the entry of this road for parking. There is a beaten footpath that follows along South Shore Road which connects the landmarks and the rustic road. After you have parked your vehicle you must follow the rustic road by foot. The forest on both sides is private property. The road is named Old Stage Drive. You will see stone walls on each side of the road placed there by those who built it many, many years ago. After you have passed a building to your right, the road will become very rugged. There may be wet areas along this road, even during dry seasons. You will once again pass a building to your right. When you do, the road will narrow to a footpath. Follow this path till you reach a stream. You will then find a bridge to cross, that is, if the stream hasn't flooded it away. After crossing the stream, you will find the footpath going up a hill. Near the top of this hill, the path will turn left. 
you might see rusty metal discs nailed to trees as markers for the path. It is possible that you will run into trees that have fallen across the path. Eventually, you will come upon a clearing. Where we're located here along Colonel Peck's trail is believed to be the location of one of the buildings on Colonel Peck's farm. Behind me, you will find uh, areas where the log cabin or whatever building they had used to be. There are places uh, of stone for each corner of the building. And if you look below me, this is an old well that we believe was used on the farm itself. The pine needles covered path will still be easily seen. The path will soon divide into two. You will see a tree of odd shape to your left. The right of the path may have branches laid across to prevent travelers from going further. Take the path to the left. It will lead you into a thick pine forest on a hill. At the top of the hill, you will see a large stone wall surrounding the Pex family cemetery. Lieutenant Colonel Loring Peck and his wife Jane Burke Peck lived in Bristol, Rhode Island until May 1798, when they settled in Aminia, Dutchess County, New York. In the year 1811, Loring Peck with his son William Burke Peck purchased neighboring lands of Ebenezer and Amos Green in the town of Wells, Montgomery County, New York State, near a lake called Lake Pleasant. It was there that they started a farm with his other sons, George, Loring Jr., and Richard Peck. Loring Peck was a captain in the Continental Army of Rhode Island from 1775 to 1783 during the American Revolution. He was in Babcock's Rhode Island State Regiment, Lepet's Rhode Island Regiment, Rhode Island State Militia Senior Class Regiment, Bristol Company Senior Class Regiment, and many more. After the war, Loring Peck became a Lieutenant Colonel of the Bristol and Tiverton Rhode Island Regiment. Lieutenant Colonel Peck is believed to be the only Revolutionary War officer buried in Hamilton County, New York. Colonel Loring Peck had the title of fence viewer when Lake Pleasant became a town in 1812. He kept the title until 1819. His wife, Jane Burke Peck, passed away at the age of 70 in 1824. Colonel Peck died at the age of 90 on July 29, 1833. Colonel Loring Peck's son, Loring Peck Jr., was in the Home Guard Militia of Lake Pleasant and Wells during the War of 1812. He kept the family farm till the end of his life. 
He also lived with William Fish by 1850, who some believe was his son-in-law married to his daughter, Juliet. Loring Peck Jr. died on May 5, 1861, at the age of 79. Sela Satterley was a resident of Lake Pleasant. He had a wife named Mariah Dodge, two daughters, and also two sons who served in the American Civil War. He was a farmer at the age of 44 in 1850. He lived on the north side of Holmes Hill, two miles down the Old State Road, or what we now call South Shore Road. Satterley was a trustee of school district number one in 1858. In 1865, after his two daughters died of smallpox during an epidemic that plagued the region, Sela Satterley also passed away from smallpox. His body was buried in the Pex family cemetery under darkness, under instructions given by the Board of Health Director, Dr. Levi Sabin. For more information on finding Lieutenant Colonel Peck Cemetery, contact our local Chamber of Commerce. If you are watching this video on YouTube, there will be a link below.